Hey guys, welcome back to Creativity Made Easy. It's Miriam here. So this week I want to share with you this tassel wall and balloon garland backdrop that I made for a cousin of mine. She had a big party um, over the summer and we just wanted to do something fun and festive so I thought the tassel wall would look great for that. This entire backdrop is really inexpensive to do for this tassel wall. I think it only cost me around $20 to create the tassel wall itself and the balloon garland based on where you purchase your balloons from. You could actually get this entire garland for $20 if you purchase your balloons from Dollar Tree, but I got mine off Amazon so those cost me around $40. So the first thing I had to do was figure out a color combination. So I went on Instagram and I saw this tassel wall by Prop Me Pretty and I just really loved the color combination that they had done. So I thought maybe I could try and recreate something like this. So I went to Hobby Lobby. They have a great selection in um, tablecloths. So if you purchase tablecloths from Dollar Tree or Walmart, they don't have as many choices in colors and their tablecloths in general are really cheap. So um, I don't buy them from there I went to Hobby Lobby and their tablecloths all just happened to be on sale for 99 cents so I purchased about 15 tablecloths in these colors the blue the lime green pinks white and then I purchased two um, skirt gold curtains that they also had for this backdrop as well Okay, so the first thing I did to set up the backdrop was I used three rolls of wrapping paper from the Dollar Tree. These measured about seven feet long, I believe, and um, I just taped them using Dollar Tree tape to the wall, and this is what I'm going to use as the base to tape my tassels and, you know, glue those in support later. So after the backdrop was set up, I just wanted to cut my tablecloths so that they were ready to be um, taped and glued to the backdrop stand. So I just opened up all the tablecloths and I cut them vertically in half. So just to save time, I did maybe about like 10, 15 layers over here. I just kept testing it to see how much my scissors could easily cut through because I didn't want to cut these into tassels one um, tablecloth at a time. That would have just taken forever. So I think I did this only two times and um, whatever it was, I did maybe 15 sheets in one and 15 sheets in the other and you're just going to use your scissors and cut slits like maybe one inch slits all um, from the bottom of the um, tablecloth to the top but not cutting it off because you're going to use that to tape to the backdrop paper later. So once I had all the tablecloths cut into the tassel shapes, I had to you know separate them into the different colors and you want to be careful when you do this because um, you know, if you pull too hard, they are going to tear. So this takes a little bit of time, but go ahead and separate all of your tablecloths into the different color combinations or the different colors that you purchased. So next to start taping the tassels to the backdrop, I took one tassel. So I just started with um, the navy blue uh, tablecloth and I cut it so that, or actually I just tore it with my hand so that it was maybe a four foot long segment. And then I folded that in on itself so that it was a two foot long segment. So it was double layered. And then I just used the Dollar Tree tape and I taped it straight. I didn't do like any diagonal shape or anything like that. I just taped it directly in a straight um, line onto the very bottom layer of the um, backdrop. So next I just added the lime green. Um, some of the strands I taped straight and then some of them I just did like a U or a V shape. Um, I just wanted there to be different like heights and stuff in the backdrop. So you can do it straight if you want and that would look nice as well. Or you can just do what I did, some of them straight, some of them in a V shape um, and just go from there. So you just want to do different thicknesses for the, you know, the tablecloths as well. Like you can see the pink and the green are thinner than the blue. I took up more space with the blue. So you just want to have a little bit of variety and um, just go ahead and tape them. And I just followed, I kind of followed the photo that I saw from Instagram, but then I kind of went away from that too and was just adding in whatever colors I thought looked pretty. So basically you just want to work your way up one layer at a time. So after I had done the entire bottom layer, I moved up a layer to the second layer and I did in total four layers for this backdrop. And on the second layer, you can see I did majority of the tablecloths in that V shape instead of doing a straight line because for the bottom, the straight line is okay. It doesn't really show because it droops to the floor. But for the second line, I didn't want um, the straight line. So I just 
put it V, but that's just based on preference, how you want it to look at the end. So I did more V shapes on the second, third, and fourth layers, um, whereas at the bottom I did mostly straight. And while I'm doing the layers, I also am adding in the gold table skirt, and I'm cutting that the same way. Just use my scissors, cut like maybe, you know, a four foot long segment, fold it in half so that it's double layered, and then tape that onto the backdrop uh, paper as well. So after I had done all four layers of the tassels, um, it took me around, I think, about two hours to do the tassel wall portion. And I still had a little bit of tassel left over so in the different colors. So I just went back and added that wherever I thought maybe it was a little less and it needed a little more volume in the backdrop. And that's it for the tassel wall portion. To transport this to the event, I have a bigger car. So all I did was I removed um, all, you know, the entire paper. It came off in one piece from the wall. And then I just folded it on itself maybe three times. And I just put it in my car and I drove it to the party where we had to set up the backdrop. And I actually taped it to my backdrop stand and um, you know we just used it like that but you could easily set this up on a wall as well i just happened to have a backdrop stand so i just used regular dollar tree tape and i taped it to my backdrop stand but you could easily set this up on a wall as well for the balloon garland for this backdrop um, here are all the balloons i purchased i'm going to leave a link in the description box for the balloons i purchased from amazon but once again i just picked the same color scheme i did the whites the pinks purples and a little bit of the blues and then I just inflated uh, all my balloons into duplexes and um, used some fishing line to create one large garland, uh, which I actually added to my backdrop stand and taped that to the backdrop stand using my fishing line as well. So I've done a detailed tutorial on how to make a balloon garland. I'm going to leave a link for that in the description box. If you guys want me to do another video on how to do a balloon garland, let me know and I can do another detailed video on it. But I have one that's up that I think is pretty good. So I'm going to leave that in the description box, a link for it. So I set up the balloon garland on one of my backdrop stands and then I used my second backdrop stand to set up the tassel wall. And I, like I said earlier, I just used tape and it stayed the entire day. It didn't tear. You would think that, you know, the Dollar Tree wrapping paper would tear, but it didn't. It stayed strong. And um, yeah, so here's how it turned out. Um, I think it turned out really pretty and colorful, exactly what we were going for. And the entire thing took me two days to do. So the tassel wall I made the night before the event took two hours. And the balloon garland I set up the day of the event and that took about two hours to set up. So you could get this full look in about four hours. And I think the cost for the entire thing was maybe around $50, depending on the quality um, of the balloons, how expensive you purchase them. So I think it's completely worth it. Um, let me know what you guys think. And if you haven't done so already, please be sure to subscribe and comment below and let me know what you guys think. I'll see you guys in my next week's video, God willing. Bye.